I was trained and brainwashed and card carrying member of the cult of scientism. And I'm all about allopathic medicine, specialized in prescribing to pregnant and breastfeeding women. That's how important I think it is. And then I get my first diagnosis. So now it's not just a, a theoretical model. Now I'm going to be the one who's got to be walking to CVS every month to get a prescription. And that was my rupture of empathy because I was able to look at what the allopathic system could offer me. And I didn't feel like that was going to work for me. And I didn't feel like anybody gave a shit really, including the doctor who diagnosed it, who's a lovely woman on a routine physical, this autoimmune condition that I was diagnosed with in 2010. And I felt really on my own, right? That energy leads you to self driven, independent, initiatory conditions where you can learn what you're capable of. And at its most extreme, you visit with death and you learn that you can live without fear of it any longer because the feeling of I'm about to die, I want to die, I should die is a signature for one's initiation to themselves, right? So that no phase is when you go off into the wilderness, when you say, which I did, fuck you to the system, I'm going to heal myself. And I found the way to do that, <laughs> which involved the reclamation of choice and personal responsibility. So I said, you know what, I have choices here. I don't have to take Synthroid for the rest of my life. I'm going to figure out something that's going to work for me. I'm going to take responsibility for my health, which was totally novel to me, right? Because I'd only ever been entrained around who's going to fix this for me. Now, most of my patients had a rupture of empathy with the system. They were good patients taking their meds, end up in their mid 30s or 40s on five meds when they started out with a breakup in, in high school and they were prescribed Zoloft and the meds are quote unquote, not working anymore. They're having side effects and nobody's got any answers for them. That's how they found themselves on my wait list, right? That's how they found themselves having conversations with me about, okay, I'm at the end of the rope of what allopathy has to offer where's the escape hatch, right? Like I'm ready to go on this journey. And so growing that, what I call the masculine container requires that you begin to activate your gifts and talents around commitment, follow through, integrity of word, organization, and competence, right? You begin to learn how to respect yourself. Like you actually give a shit about yourself. You learn how to self-validate and source that from within. And through that process, we grow a sense of safety in our systems. So I have an online program called Vital Mind Reset. That's the protocol I use to heal myself and in my patient uh, practice. It's a very go big or go home, like no bullshit, 44 days. And it's all about lifestyle choices, right? So when you decide, I have the willpower and you say, I have what it takes to do this for myself and I care enough and the stakes are high enough and you follow through on that, you send a signal of safety to your system 